bathed in warm sunshine today. It really is a fantasy destination for football fans everywhere. But it's about to get very real for the Alabama and the Michigan players. This is a proving ground, a spot in the Houston championship game at stake here. Michigan back to back to back Big Ten titles. They've stumbled the semifinal each of the last two years. But this season for Harbaugh and Michigan, totally unique. McCarthy, the quarterback who has not played well in the first two playoff appearances, extra determined. The only loss of his career as a starter was that loss to TCU. He's been dynamic. He's been pretty mistake free and he's gotten healthy because he wasn't down the stretch for Michigan. No, he wasn't. He got dinged in the Penn State game. They didn't throw a pass in the second half and he was able to get to the finish line and they not call for Iowa. And now I think the 30 days really helped him more than anybody. Alabama, of course, dethroned two time defending champion Georgia. Still didn't answer questions whether they belong in the bracket. Nick Saban's team took a 10 point home field loss against Texas early after that Kirk. They were really in must win mode and they had to fight from behind. Jalen Milrow became a different guy. Ability to make throws downfield and to complement their running game. His vertical passing game as good as anybody in the country. Do not sleep of course on what he can do with his legs. Michigan's entire prep is about building a pocket to try to prevent him from getting out of that pocket to make big plays the way he can off schedule. Michigan slight favorites at kickoff. This is team 144. They surpassed a thousand all time wins this season. Just seven more than second place Alabama. He's Mitch and Blue faithful have waited a long time to see a Michigan team run on to this stage 17 years. Seems hard to believe. Chasing their first championship in 26 years. Saban, of course, looking for his eighth national championship. He won his very first at Alabama right here over Texas. All time NCAA scoring leader Will Riker to boot it away for Alabama and the electric true freshman Samaj Morgan deep to return this. Whether you're roll tide, go blue, or just happily neutral on this beautiful New Year's Day, sit back and enjoy the Rose Bowl with a spot in the championship game at stake. Like most of Reichert's kicks, pounded deep into the end zone. Here comes J.J. McCarthy, who's healthy. He's not thinking about the trouble game he had last year against TCU where a couple of pick sixes. How well did each quarterback get off to the start? It's so important today. On the left of McCarthy on this first play. JJ on the move. Scanning and fires into traffic on the sideline. And it's intercepted. Caleb Downs, the true freshman safety, takes advantage of a terrible mistake by McCarthy on the opening play. And the tie will be set up in scoring position. After review, the defender was out of bounds when he possessed the ball. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be second down. Burner inside here. Don't bring extra pressure. The pass is incomplete. Tried to squeeze it in there to the tight end, and Terry and Arnold broke it up. And so Michigan avoids the turnover, but goes three and out. So here is Jalen Milrow. Impressive guy, graduated in three years at Alabama, 3.5 GPA. He's a Texan who's so focused on this game today, didn't really understand that if they win, they get to go back to Texas and play for a championship. That's how locked in he is on today. Yeah, what an impressive guy, like you said. Oh, here he is. Play action on the first play. Melro has to retreat, and he's sacked. Michigan flies in there. It's Braden McGregor off the edge, and pass protection's been a problem all season for the time. Yeah, Caden Proctor is a true freshman on the left side. He's gotten better, but he's slow-footed. See his eyes look to the left? A little bit confused there with that look, with Santa Strill giving that blitz look from the outside. It caught the eyes of the left tackle, and the true freshman ends up giving up a sack on the first play. Play clock at five. Michigan brings some pressure again. Milrow tries to escape and cannot. What an opening series for this Wolverine defense as Josiah Stewart got him that time. It was a great job of doing that right there. It's been a devastating pass rush by committee for Michigan all season. You see it on display. Burnham's punt. 
is muffed. Trying to come up and make a high risk catch there was Morgan, the freshman. The Tides say they have it. Strange things happen in these pressure playoff games, and that's going to be Alabama football. It's a low snap and a handoff inside, and McClellan threw a crease, a foot race. They won't catch him. Touchdown tied. Thirty-four yards as the tide cash in the muff punt. Uh, Sanders still is back here. What a good job up front by the, the offensive line. The big fullback gets in there, but now it's a one-on-one -on -one play in space. It's Sanders still who's been outstanding his entire career. First as a receiver, last couple years a defensive back, one of the leaders of this team. Just misses that play in space against a very talented Jason McClellan who scores the first touchdown of the game. They need some big plays from him. He's got it again. This time running left, gets to the edge. It's a first down and more. Bora. Barreling into Alabama territory before Jalen Key got him down. More the play caller as well as the offensive line coach. Mullings is in the game. They beg it to him. McCarthy on the move again. Has some green grass but decides to pitch it late. And the catch is made down inside the 20 by Mullings. Got six on that play. Second down. McCarthy looking for the end zone. Has a man wide open. And it's Coral walking in. Impressive drive as a Wolverines answer. Well, you're going to get a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, and everybody has to be on the same page. It's like a lot of traffic when you have man-to-man -man down in the red zone. Watch the linebacker here, Campbell, and watch how he tries to communicate. He's trying to match up with Blake Corum. He communicates, see the point, trying to get some help. Nobody helps him out. An easy read and a great drive and an answer by the Michigan offense. Three receivers. Off to the left. Three. Caught the pass earlier. Motions back in. Milrow from the pocket. Steps up, escapes. Can he get there with his legs? He'll slide down awkwardly, well short of the marker. He is dangerous out of the backfield if he gets man coverage. Wilson comes in motion. McCarthy's across the middle, and the crossing run caught by Morgan. He's going to be slung down aggressively by Kool Aid McKinstry, short of the marker. Almost uh, something you'd see in WWE was effective, and it's worth down. Justice Haynes is one of the two true freshman tailbacks as part of the Alabama rotation. He's in the game. And Melrose going to be knocked down for the third time. Michael Barrett, the six-year senior, came flying and got home. What can the Tide do? They're going to have to clean up some pre-snap recognition from Milroy and this pass protection. Already three sacks. And a fourth. The Michigan pass rush overwhelming. That time it was Barrett's buddy Colson, the linebacker, who got him. Needs six. On the move, McCarthy throws far sideline, incomplete. Trey Amos was covering Roman Wilson. He's waving for a flag, doesn't get one. And here comes the punt team. These third downs, boy, it's been an average of third and ten. Then he takes off as a runner. He's not going to get there. They're all over that. And Sam still, who got beat on the touchdown run earlier by McClellan. Running back's coach here. It's Morgan emotions around. McCarthy looks across the middle and rifles the ball to Colson Loveland, the tight end, who gets away from one man, moves the sticks out across the 45. Loveland out, two other tight ends in the game, Bredesen and Barner. And Edwards, who can throw it, lobs it back to McCarthy, who has to retreat to make a one-handed grab, and tosses downhill to Roman Wilson. Not exactly how you draw it up, and McCarthy is down on the field. Took a hit from Dallas Turner, which is never fun. Gets up slowly, but the big play moves it into Bama territory. It didn't look like a dirty play at all from Dallas Turner. D Turner's right here. He's just making a hustle play to get back. Roman Wilson's going to come right over here all the way over. And if he would have had time, six gets behind coverage. Johnson, they had a shot maybe at a big play, but a heck of an effort by J.J. McCarthy just to make this throw. That's a backwards pass. If he doesn't make a falling back one-headed catch, that's a huge... That's right, just to be able to bring it in. Turnover. Yeah. Looks to be okay. Corum off the right side. Has time. Delivers across the middle. And the catch is made by Tyler Mars, who tight ropes down the sidelines. Touchdown, Michigan. What a play. 38 yards. Thought they would have him corralled. He's 
somehow stayed in bounds. And Morris with his first touchdown of the season puts Michigan on top. And they, they catch Michigan in man-to-man -man on third down, and that's Deontay Lawson who's trying to stay with him. Let's see if he stayed in bounds all the way down, tiptoeing, still in, still in, gets pushed. Looks like he reaches and gets to the goal line in the pylon for a touchdown. He's what an effort by Morris. It's his first touchdown of the year, only has 11 receptions on the season, but what an outstanding job again by Jim Harbaugh of designing a play to get the matchup that he wanted. And Michigan has a lead for the first time in their three CFP games, and they mess up the snap. Got a fall on this, or the Tide could have run it back. Normally, very solid on the execution. Doman, the punter, is the holder. First career touchdown as Michigan converts a touchdown on the first third down conversion of the day. Milrow on the move, get out of that pocket, delivers downfield. What a throw. And the catch is made right along the sidelines there by Isaiah Bond. Lake Buck winding down. Williams is the back as the tide are still shifting. And they just get the snap off. Milrow takes off right up the middle. This is an improvement in the way he scrambled. A little tempo for the first time from the tide in this third down. And yet again, down goes Milrow. Derek Moore joins the sack party. A fifth for Michigan in this half. This is from exactly 50 yards away to cut this to a three-point margin. The guy is so calm. He's kind of a, a, a flatline personality, frankly, which is not a bad thing for a kicker. Not always docile. Now he, he's got a, he, he can get a little frisky if he sees another dog on Stella. We met Ugga earlier. He did. He attacked him in his cage, but he, you know, we were okay. We pulled him back. Michigan dominates the stats. Alabama converted the muff punt into their only touchdown so far. And let's hear from Jim Harbaugh with Holly. Well, Coach, you said the line of scrimmage would mean everything. How do you assess how it's gone for your team? Really good. I mean, I love the three and outs we've got on defense. Uh, putting pressure on the quarterback, and we're covering on the back end pretty darn well. Thanks so much, Coach. There's the muff punt and the bad snap on the PATs, two special teams mess ups that could play a role. You never know. Every point might matter. In time, let's hear from Nick Saban and Laura. All right, thank you. Coach, what adjustments do you want to see offensively in the second half? Well, the big thing is, is we got to protect the passer. You know, I mean, we've been sacked five or six times, and those are all drive stoppers. So, um, you know, we got to run the ball more effectively. we got to mix it up. we got to move the pocket a little bit. we got to do something to get him blocked up front, because I think we could, we got some plays down the field if we could just protect. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Chris. Saban has won six of his second semifinal games. Said the other day, it's all about adjustments. These games are all about adjustments. Doman to boot it away. And from one yard deep, Hendrick Law for the second time today, unable to get beyond the 15 yard line. Good coverage by the Wolverines. Gotta be ferocious but disciplined in rushing the passer. A lot of focus on not letting Miller get loose. Haynes again. Makes a cut in the line of scrimmage and squirts through a crease. Almost ripped off a big game, but they stop him short of the 40. Three starters and 350 plus. The only O line in the world, I think, can say that. Ball is loose, and Milrow has to fall on it back inside the 40. Bad snaps have been a frequent problem for McLaughlin all the season. McLaughlin all, all year, and this time he's frustrated because he hears about it a lot. Watch Milrow's eyes. He's looking left. It wasn't necessarily a bad snap. The timing was off. The ball was a little bit, a little bit below, below the knee, but you can see Milrow looking away. It did actually bounce just a little bit to the right there, but he had no idea the ball was even coming back. Remember before the miracle against Auburn. A bad snap almost cost him. There's another low one. Milrow scoops that up and loses more yardage. The only third down conversion so far was the touchdown reception by Tyler Morris. It's a five-man rush. And McCarthy's on the move. Scanning and delivers a bullet along the sidelines. Incomplete. They rule him out of bounds. Cornelius Johnson, a diving attempt. But it's fourth down, three and out. How many times have you seen J.J. McCarthy escape to his right on the run? It didn't like he has, didn't look like he have anybody to throw the football to. Boy, 
Wait a second. The toe was very close. The toe was on the ground. Great drag by Johnson as he had control with that left toe on the grass. After review, the receiver completes the process of the catch. Oh, the He's nine. McCarthy steps up and delivers across the middle, and the catch is made, but Morris had to go back behind him to make the catch, and that's the difference between the first down and fourth down. Play after play involved in affecting things. Well, we're trying to get off the field, and they will. That swing pass for Jan Miller was way off target, and the tie go three and out. It's been a very different look from what's been traditional for Michigan's offense this year. No real inline tight ends on this third down play. Another fastball off target. Morgan, the intended receiver there, but JJ's been misfiring a bit, and it's a three and out. Play bank. Milrow retreating. Escapes this time. And instead of being sacked, actually makes a big game. Cam Good pressured him, but he picks up nine on the scramble. Oh, that's amazing. Cam Good is a big man who gets a good push in the middle. That's what they wanted to do, but look, there's no one there to help him. He's got just enough room to be able to wiggle and then get back upfield north and south to get those positive yards. Milrow scanning, checks it down underneath the bond to find a little gap in that zone. Enough for a first down into the red zone. Jalen Milrow has been very clutch all season in situations like this. He's got the football goes straight up the middle and barges down near the goal line. They keep it simple and straightforward and Milrow plays to his strength. And he gets downhill behind that big fullback. Robbie Oots, number 45. Nice pull by the left guard, Tyler Booker. Look at that, between Booker making a great block, Caden Proctor, that opened up, he accelerates through the hole. First and goal, playing with tempo. McClellan walks in, Alabama on top. It was a field position third quarter, and it set up this touchdown early in the fourth. Michigan trails in the second half for the first time all season. Alabama has shut down the top wide receiver targets on this team all afternoon. McCarthy drops it to Edwards, who drops it himself. McBoyd being again provided pressure, and this Michigan offense has just fizzled after halftime. In the meantime, Tide have gotten the ground game going, and they've taken Michigan's pass rush out of the equation in the second half. Play fake, quick throw. Dump it down to Kobe Prentice, who's pushed out near midfield. Remember, five sacks in the first half. They don't have one here in the second half. That one, just a couple of quarterback pressures. Milrow keeps it, breaks the tackle of Sam Brasil on the edge, loses the ball, rolling around, and it looks like the Wolverines have it. Recovered by Josh Wallace. He was knocked loose by Quentin Johnson, and you see why. No one was certain what would happen with Milrow with the ball in his hands today. Uh, and, and when he runs in the open field, one of the things that he has a habit of doing is not adjusting and moving the ball to the other hand. He started to, he lost his balance, but he's facing the defender with the football. Very easy for Johnson to get his hands on it to be able to knock it away, and it's exactly what he does. So Milrow, as athletic as he is, doesn't do a great job there of protecting the ball with his body. Michigan smartly knocks it away. And how about Wallace getting the opportunity to jump on top of it? This offense has been completely stagnant since the first half, but they pitch it out and they find Roman Wilson has been waiting to make an impact play. Got it down near the tied 31. McKinstry got him. The Wolverines cash it in for seven, already in the field goal range. Here's the flea flicker, and it's a misfire. Corum tried to pitch it back to McCarthy. They do this play a lot, but he kind of short-armed the pitch for James Turner from 49 to tie this game. It's hooking, and he missed it left. Special teams continue to be a problem for Harbaugh's team today, but Michigan stalled, missed the field goal. And now McClellan spinning free, running hard into Michigan territory. McClellan, the veteran, is the tailback. 
Michigan brings the pressure this time, and for the first time in the second half, they drop Milrow to push Alabama back into fringe field goal range. That was Braden McGregor for the second time today. Yeah, they brought six, and they overloaded that left side. Watch the pressure come from up here. Harrow ends up coming. Howden, who just came into the football game, ends up coming. Good job of winning. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Who's going to win? The pocket collapses again. Nowhere for Jalen Milrow to step up. And that's six sacks now for Michigan. Riker was hitting from about 54 in warm-ups. Made it from 50 earlier. This is from 52 to make the lead seven. And he will drive it inside the right upright. Kicking has been the difference here this afternoon. And the lead is seven with 4.41 to play in the Rose Bowl. 4.41 to go. They can't be sure they'll see the football again. You need to go all in on this drive and finally get something going on offense. It's been a mighty struggle here in the second half. Motion him back in. Fake the pitch to him. McCarthy batted in the air and falls incomplete. Broken up by Deontay Lawson, who deflected it. They're trying to find Loveland, and it's fourth and two decision time. Uh, that would have been a tight window regardless. They try to use Orgy as a, just as a decoy. Look at this throw. I mean, that, that's in the traffic there in the middle of and that defense. Kirk, the chips pushed to the middle of the table right now by Jim Harbaugh. If, in fact, they're going to run a play, it's fourth and two. This is a gamble because they do have three timeouts. McCarthy, wide open. Catch made by Corum. First down and much more. Weaves its way into Alabama territory. Flags come in on the tackle. During the run, illegal block in the back. Offense, 10 yard penalty, still results in a first down. Inside of three minutes. Keeper, McCarthy. Gets the edge. J.J. McCarthy scoots down inside the 35, is tackled in the paint. Play fake. McCarthy scanning downfield and throws it high, and Wilson's got it. Roman Wilson weaving down inside the 10, and Michigan on the doorstep. Loveland motions over. Keeper, and they pitch it to him. Touchdown as Wilson walks in. Roman Wilson, a huge impact on that drive as the Wolverines take it 75 yards to get within a point. But remember, nothing has been automatic. Turner, out of the hold of Doman. No problem that time. 20 20. He had a chance maybe on that last play. See if they do spy him on third and 11. The ball is out quickly. Catch is made, but no first down. McClellan tackled nicely by Josh Wallace, who's played big in this final quarter. Now look at Michigan reacting. They, they, they feel like they, they need another guy. Michigan may have to use a timeout. Finally, they get him on the field. They only had 10 out there. You're exactly right. High punt. And it's most again and picked up at the one yard line. Well, it wasn't a turnover, but it sets up McCarthy a long way away. That was Jake Thaw back there, not Morgan this time. And burned up with another high, deep punt. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Special teams have just not been Michigan's thing tonight. He's inside his own 10-yard line. Here comes Alabama. He's able to secure it at the one-yard line. It takes a vicious hit there by Law. But it, it's it's known as victory formation, but it's not a victory yet. Whoever's going to survive this, and move on to the championship game in Houston, is going to have to be the punch side in overtime. Alabama, you want to talk? Play defense. The obvious call is to play defense. So we'll see McCarthy. And the Michigan offense right back out there from the 25-yard line. Just kind of waits for the defender to declare himself, sets that block up, and then gets big yards. Three Michigan tight ends in the ballgame. They handed to Corum again and makes the cut. First down. 
Spence that scores! Blake Corr puts Michigan on top in overtime! It wasn't fancy, it was just old school determination on the ground. Blake Corum, another touchdown to break the Michigan all-time rushing touchdown record. And what a way to do it. Keeper again. Melrose straight up the middle, breaks a tackle, first and goal, Alabama. On first and goal. Nothing there. Bond to the left. McClellan swarmed and dropped in the backfield by Mason Graham, who's had a big game. It's third and goal. Two plays to get 14 yards for Alabama. To stay alive. Wolverine show pressure and bring it. Milrow from the pocket. Throws, catch made, but Burton is forced out, brought down short of the goal line. It'll be fourth down. Wallace on the stop. Here we go. No more timeouts to take here. Game on the line. That's Williams in motion. Low snap. Melrose stopped. Michigan makes a stand and comes up with a milestone playoff victory. Thank you. 